So the first step to creating a platform game is to create the platform. Uh, so over here we have the uh, scratch character sprite, which we don't need. So we're going to click the cross to get rid of that. And now we're going to start from scratch. So to create the platform, we need to create a sprite. So in this sprites window down here on the right, we're going to come down to the sprite button and we're going to click the paintbrush to be able to paint our own sprite. We're going to call this sprite platform. So just up here where it says sprite one, let's rename that platform like that. And uh, here in the costumes window, we can now draw the platform. So I'm simply going to go for a black um, costume here, black border. Uh, we don't need to have an edge around it, so I'll get rid of that. And uh, I'm just going to uh, actually going to switch over to convert to bitmap here. So I'm going to do it in bitmap and I'm going to click the rectangle there. Make sure it's a filled rectangle with whatever color I want to use. Now, the um, first step is to make sure that we have a border around the outside of our game. So I'm going to just draw a uh, rectangle on the top there. Although we're in uh, bitmap, we can still, once we've uh, clicked it uh, once, once we've drawn the rectangle, we have these little handles that allow us to stretch and move that rectangle so it's in exactly the right place. But when we click off, uh, we won't uh, we'll be able to do that anymore. So uh, we draw it once, just roughly in position, let go, and then before we click anywhere, just resize it to make sure that it's just perfect, like that. So let's draw another one along the bottom. And having these borders is really important because this will stop the player and uh, the enemy and everything else from going too far off the edge of the platform. It also gives it uh, a nice clear edge as well, just makes it look a bit more complete. So there we are, that's the uh, the border around our game. And uh, you can see on the right hand side here, it's not quite in the right position. Um, the whole of this sprite is a little bit too far up and to the right. So uh, we can simply grab that and drag it down so that it fits our stage up here perfectly like that. And uh, now we're ready to uh, draw the first platform. In fact, what we can do at this point, uh, just to make things a little bit easier for us later on, if we're going to be adding lots more levels, is we can duplicate this layer so that the uh, next layer and the layer after that or level after that has this same border. So we can do that and then click on this first costume. We're going to name this level one. So level one like that. And then we're going to draw whatever we want in here. So uh, let's just uh, imagine the player is going to start off in the bottom left corner. So we can have a, a bit of an obstacle there for the player, uh, perhaps a, a step over here. Uh, let's have some platforms for them to try and jump onto. Um, let's have some other obstacles. It really is going to be up to you to uh, to create your little world, however you, uh, however you like. Um, there, there are no rules here, apart from the fact that it's got to be fun and uh, also the fact that you can't have your player trapped anywhere. Now, uh, what does that mean and how can you stop it? Well, the problem is, uh, if I just click off this for the moment, let's imagine that our player is uh, here and I very helpfully provide a little step for them to jump onto so they can jump onto this one, jump onto this one, jump over to there perhaps. But then what happens if they fall off down here? They won't be able to jump up onto this platform. They may not be able to jump high enough to get onto that platform. And so they will be trapped in this area here. So in that situation, we would need to provide them with some way of getting out, either another step uh, or a hole at the bottom for them to get into. Uh, if I wanted to make a little hole at the bottom over here, um, I could simply zoom in, first of all, so it's a little bit easier to see. Let's just move down. There we are. So it's this bit here. Um, I could, uh, the simplest way is to use the select tool here and uh, draw a rectangle over the part that I wanted to get rid of like that. And then just simply click delete. And there we are. We've now got rid of that bit. So the player would not be able to um, get trapped. I'm going to click the undo button just up here to put that back and click the two double lines here to zoom back out to see the whole picture. 
So there we are. That's the uh, the first level done. Uh, if you want to uh, draw your own level like this, uh, go ahead and uh, and draw whatever you like out. Oops, let's uh, go back to purple. Let's just change that back to black there. Just notice a slight gap in the top left corner. There we are. That sorted it. Um, so you can make your platform however you like. Don't worry too much at this stage because you can always edit and change and improve the uh, layers, the levels, and the platform later on. Uh, but for the moment, just get something there so that we can play around in a world. So uh, that's the first step. Draw the frame, draw the platform, name the platform sprite platform, and its first costume should be uh, named level one, which I thought I did, but I clearly didn't. Uh, so level one at the top there, make sure you've named it like that. And once you've done all that, uh, make sure you click the uh, Save Now button if it's shown on your toolbar, or you can go to File and Save Now to make sure that you have saved all your work. So once you've done your platform, I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial.